Hi, good afternoon everybody, welcome from Bangkok. We're planning to go and see Lubini Park, one of the main parks of city of Bangkok. It's, it's often compared to Central Park in New York as it's based in the in the middle of downtown. So you got all the buildings surrounding it, all the skyscrapers and yeah. So we want to go to Lupini Park. It's just a little bit too hot as it's 35 degrees. I think I hope we will survive this. And we actually we're actually gonna go there by bus I think. I've checked on Google Maps and we can either go by underground taxi or bus which I have not done yet so I think just to just check it out we're gonna go by a bus and see it uh, so yeah after Lupini Park we get picked up from there at 4 o'clock and we're going on Shafraya River and we're gonna have a river cruise on the by uh, Icon Siam and the near nearby canals so we're gonna be passing a landmark such as Wat Arum etc and we're gonna be going on the side canals there just so we will see how the locals live we will see a lot of good things i'll try to record everything and show you so stay with me we started from lubini park see you there looks like our bus is coming in 40 minutes we got a bit of a wait oh well but what is really surprising look at this smart smart bus shelter he has got Wi-Fi, so if you're bored, you've got no internet, you can just hook into bus shelter Wi-Fi. <laughs> this is great. Okay, looks like our bus nas is due now. Uh, I can't see it yet. I can't actually, yeah. Number 62, far the back. I was actually expecting a bit of a modern bus, but it is what it is. Let's see, and I have no idea how to buy the tickets. If we buy them from the conductor or driver or machine, we will see. So driving five stops to Lumpini Police Station. Uh, I think he's not actually stopping at the bus stop. We have to get in on the street. So yeah, that is the bus. Okay, and that's where we get the tickets. Perfect. Well, at least it's air conditioned. Hello, we're going to Lupini Police Station How for much? tickets. How much? 48. How much? 48 baht. 48 baht. So you let the... Okay. So yeah. just bought the tickets. They cost 12 bahts each. Four of us, 48 baht. That's a deal. So we're going to sit at the back like the naughty kids at school. First experience of driving a bus in Bangkok. Hopefully the traffic won't stop us too much. We at the Lumpini police station. Bus stop, just been dropped off. It's funny because the driver opened the door before he even stopped the vehicle. So <laughs> somebody wanted to jump off or jump in. He could, no problem. Anyway, just gonna cross the road now. And we in the park. So, have to do the crossing here over the stairs and uh, we there I hope we will see some of these big lizards what this park is famous for by the way you will see a lot of wires everywhere in Bangkok and that's nothing there's more elsewhere apparently they got three years to move it all underground I want to see this happen well, let's see this is the first time I'm here during the day last time I came it was it was dark so it was nice though because you could see the all the lights from the buildings well, I'm sure it will be just as good during the day, if not better. You got some gym set here if you want to work out. And 
just trying to get to the to the heart of the park but I can't really remember how to go I think it's this way somewhere there is like an island and some benches etc etc so we have to walk through it to be honest I'm a dis disappointed of this park when I was here last year I saw that it was dark and it seemed seems a lot better maybe because of the view of the skyline you know with all the lights and stuff but let's just go to the center of the park don't want to judge it before we saw anything we are halfway through this park but hopefully we should get to more exciting bit now because so far there is nothing yes you see all the skyscrapers around it and everything but actually it seems quite it seems very dead now the, the park that's not how I remember it well let's see when we get to the other side there's no even people I remember all these shelters full of people I think we are getting to this a little bit more exciting part of the park rather than the start so we're gonna go around there over there to the little bridge cross over there walk around there I really want to see the the big geckos thing Girls wants to get on on one of these boats. <laughs> no, we're not doing this. Get on this one. Passing for here. Another shelter if somebody wants to sit down for five minutes, hide from the sun. Luckily, the sun isn't so bad today because it's a bit cloudy. There you go, like a, some sort of a stage, symphony orchestra. I guess that's where the shows are being held. Still didn't see any of this. Yeah. following Magda she said that something is swimming in the water and gonna show us maybe one of these big lizards let's see last time I saw them on the ground not in the water hey this is a big lizard <laughs> hey, is it yeah look at the kitten here hiding from the sun and there is a lizard there but sure we can find one from much closer than this try zoom in a little bit no I doubt you can see anything well we'll find one a bit closer no problem see this is what we're looking for not sure why they call them water monitors but that's what we're looking for and we're gonna find it got one there not sure if you can see it let me just zoom in a little bit but I think we should be able to find one on the ground not on, in the water easier to look at so we've got signs everywhere I can't ah oh, there we go there's one there look nice size It's looking at me. There is one in the water right next to it. Oh, don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, there's one there swimming away from us. Oh, 
think there is a bunch there as well. So. Okay. We'll leave you alone. We're going to see your brothers and sister. They are there, hiding from the sun. Oh, that's only a small one here. A small two. The other one there was quite big. There you go, number one. And number two. I think they are actually cooling down because around here is quite cold and wet. Okay, let's get on the main path. So in the end, this is just a park, so not much, not that much to show. I wish you could see the pictures during night much better. If I find some pictures, I will, I will, I will post them here. So I might. Let's see. Now it's quiet. There's not even people jogging or anything. Maybe it's just this time of the day when no one goes out. It's half past 3 p.m. so it's really hot. Maybe this is why only we are silly enough to go and do it at this time. Another pretty fountain in front of us. And uh, yeah, that's it really. But just a quick look at the park. Because he, <laughs> he all looks the same. You get these big lizards. You get a few fountains, you get a nice panorama view, and that's it. I mean, in the evening when it's a bit cooler, it's a great place to be. You know, you can come for chats, walks, sit down, do some bit of jogging. Nice place. Nice park. But it just seems a bit strict to me, like, no drone zone, no alcohol. No smoking, no nothing. Huh. Very strict, but nice. I mean, drinking alcohol, I understand. You don't want people to get drunk at those stupid things. Cigarettes, I mean, as long as you put it in the bin, I can't really see a problem. But no drones, who is this going to disturb? Unless they I don't know, the wildlife or something. You know, I was told not to use the drone on a nine archers bridge in Sri Lanka because of the um, wasp nest so maybe something like this as well they could attack the drone because they're making a sound similar to the wasps I don't know so as I said just a just a quick quick look at Lupini Park it's 3 p.m. so the sun is up very hot that's why there's not many people here but when the sun goes down and it's a bit cooler, honestly, great place to chill. I recommend it. And when the sun is set, the beautiful landscape of uh, all the high, high buildings is, is, is great. As I said, if I find it, I will post it here on the video so you can, you can get a quick look. Now we're just going to get our driver and he's going to take up to the pier next to Shamfraya River. And we take, so the, our driver is going to pick us up now, going to take us to the pier in on Shafraya River and we're gonna have a boat to run the river and canals so I'll I'll see you there. Just got our tickets and um, we are at the River City Bangkok. It's like a shopping mall slash pier harbor for the boats. It costs us three thousand um, baths for a long day boat which seems quite expensive but the boat is just for us so I guess if there was more people it would be cheaper but we're just going with one boat for three of us private boat not two but the guy said to wait 10-15 minutes I will come and get you when your boat is ready so I guess we're just gonna have to wait for a little while and then off we go so gate one boat is ready just follow this lady and we're going on a cruise ship. Well, cruise ship, a boat trip. <laughs> yep. 
get it. I think it's this one and it's for 50 people and it's just three of us, wow. <laughs> well, we have an entire boat for ourselves, so that's not too bad. I guess we can do that. Oh, sorry, it's this boat, not the other one. Just a small one, perfect. Just for your reference, we're going from here, River City, Bangkok. Nice, <laughs> the boat just for us. Nice restaurant here, by the way. Looking good. The tour is for one and a half hour. Hopefully as good as the one I been to last year. I'm sure it will be. So we're on board. Uh, it's a bit wobbly. In fact, it is very wobbly. <laughs> and we are sailing. That boat seems a little bit more stable. I mean, look at the look at the front. <laughs> I don't want to end up in the water. I hope the guy know what he's doing. So, yeah. Just passing the spectacular shopping mall Icon Siam, which we've been to yesterday. Check my vlog from yesterday. Honestly, it's worth seeing it. Nice place. Look at this thing is fast, like one and a half hour. <laughs> That's so fast. Wow. heading towards the canals because Shower Friar is only a short a short ride and then we're going onto the canals which are quite interesting. Look at this massive ferry there on the right. Wow that's nice. In fact the last time I went on the boat trip we didn't go this way, we went the totally opposite way so I actually not too sure what they are going to show us here. I mean, this is one and a half hour, I think the other one was two hours, so maybe we seeing a bit of this side and then we're gonna head back and see whatever I saw last time. What's important is that we make it all before the sunset, so we get to see everything properly. In fact, it would be nice if we coming back by the sunset time, so we get to see what a room, which looks great when the sun is going down. Some fancy ferries here as well. But that's no real experience. This is authentic experience. <laughs> Long day boat. That's it. Big Chunk is the main beer in Thailand. It's being advertised everywhere. However, it's not my favorite. I think I'm more of a singer or Leo person. I literally have no idea where we're going uh, so we're going the, the opposite way of when I was going last time and yeah I think this, the, 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 all, all the fun is behind us not in front of us so not sure which road this boat is heading so hopefully they know what they're doing and hopefully it will be good I want to make it before the sun, sun sets so to go an hour and a half in front of us just passing some sort of harbor, I think it's a cargo port. Not sure if this is the part of the attractions for the journey, but yeah, passing this. Okay, I think we're gonna go in the 
canal there and go all day around. If this is the case, we're probably gonna see more than I did last time. Yeah. As last time we were going through some uh, local canals, like you could see the locals living and all the poverty. And it was actually quite interesting, so hopefully that is the case as well. Yeah, it looks like this. Just just support that we make it before the sun has gone down. Yeah, this is sort of the gate to canals. The guy just signaled that we're coming in. Having to slow down a little bit and hopefully it won't be as wobbly as before. Looks like a looks like a, <laughs> a, a tall motorway gate. So just going free and hopefully the journey should be starting now. You can slowly start seeing locals living on the canal. I think that's where the poverty is difficult to to survive here really but we're going the same way as last time. There's much more to see. I don't know what this is. Maybe some uh, fishing pond or something. But look at this. People actually live. You look at the slums. I mean, the cars on the in the car park aren't really bad I wouldn't want to be living in one of these apartments up here looks poor all the rubbish in the water that's a shame I mean Bangkok is super rich but you can either find rich or poor there is no in between so outskirts of Bangkok, I think, is all the pool, no rich. I mean, if you go to proper supers, you probably find the rich guys, rich houses, but that's not it. This is the local shop. I think. They do these things called floating markets, so you can literally just like get next to the other boat and buy things from them like not boat to boat I mean yeah also boat to boat but also like from boat from somebody's house but that's not the floating market but I think you can buy things as well I think most of the people that live on the canal they have their own boats and this is their way of living they use it for transportation and shopping and everything I mean they probably have a car but boats is the main way of transportation look at this people actually live here look at it these houses they're falling they're falling apart like yeah this, this is real So we're gonna pull up, pull over here to get a drink. <laughs> I love that. So we're just getting some beers. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> So perfect. The shop is done, and we got our our hydration system. Could be hand the bath for this, and we got some water as well. <laughs> Apunta. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing most of these are shops. So you literally don't have to go to supermarkets, you just get a boat, you go to nearby, nearby shop and get your you get your water, you get your fruits, you get your veg, whatever. I mean all the infrastructure is done over the canals, which is 
which is smart really. Oh, poor people, they have to live here. Uh, we are passing some sort of temple, I think. Yeah. Not sure what temple it is, but I think we'll be passing better ones than this. I didn't see this one before. Not on the internet. Wow. And back to locals. amazing how people live here. You can literally see like people's kitchen and living rooms and everything. There is another temple here. There are a lot of temples. I don't know what they all called. But we're passing one every two minutes. This one looks quite nice. So sightseeing without paying for the tickets to go inside. <laughs> I mean, all the time something interesting comes up, but I don't, I, I, like, by the time I get the camera out and start recording, it's gone. So what I would have to do ideally is just keep recording all the time. But I don't want to bore you to death with recording, like, bushes and nothing, you know. It's actually really interesting. If you sit here in this boat, I don't think it's as interesting from the laptop or your phone when you're watching it. I mean, living here, living here on the canal, that's really cool. Like, if this was my holiday house, or like a, yeah, holiday house, or asylum, you know, just to hide from people and chill, then fair enough, but I think a bit tough to live here permanent. I mean, look at this. this, it looks like it's about to fall, it looks like it's about to collapse. Another temple. I'm not sure if you can see it yet, but in front of us there is. Well, you can't see it because it's behind the tree. What a room and the big, big Buddha, the one we've been to yesterday. Wow, look at this. Look at this spectacular view. <laughs> That is cool, that is very cool. You can't see from here the size of it, but if you watch my vlog yesterday, I guess you're gonna get a better idea as this thing is is, is huge. It's massive. Both things, the Buddha and the pyramid everything. So nice. I mean, you can just look at it, you got like poverty, and then you got this right next to it. Wealth. 
this is shouting wealth that's beautiful that actually I didn't see this one last time but in my opinion nothing will beat this one this one is bloody brilliant I remember seeing this one for the first time I was like wow this is amazing it is amazing and it's huge difficult to catch how big it is from here but check it out this thing is massive so good that's definitely my favorite Buddha statue I saw in Bangkok so that's where we are yesterday so we get to see it from the canal side and we did see it from the inside yesterday. To be honest, if I if I, if I knew we're coming here, I wouldn't bother going to to the actual temple yesterday. That is beautiful. again big Buddha there and poverty here it is very impressive though like really you have to see it as I say it's, it's a great tool you get to see like poverty against the wealth like you're passing some temples which are just super rich then you're passing some houses like falling apart and almost sinking in the water wow this is Bangkok like it's just crazy Bangkok is a, it's a state of mind I love this city I think definitely there is more poverty than the wealth here I mean, you get some temples which look great, like the one in front. You can see there, but you also get a lot of poverty. So I think the balance isn't exactly even. There is temple level two minutes. I mean, look at this. Like people actually live here. I'm not sure if I would I would prefer to live in these communal houses, blocks or the Sphinx built on the water. If you look look here, like one of them actually collapsed. So it's dangerous. Very dangerous. here on the pier look how nice everyone is they're waving to us ah people here are just nice like yeah and this house is on the water again how does this thing even last like how does this not collapse how is this even allowed to build? Like, you know, surely Bangkok must have some rules. I mean, do you know what? There's probably no rules. I've seen um, cars on the street with like blue indicators, for example. No chance you can have a blue indicator in Europe. You know, everything is regulated. Not in Bangkok. Half past six, I think we got last 30 minutes, so we're slowly heading to Shao River again. 
back to the pier. Yeah, I mean that people there, boat, it's it's cool, but oh my god, I have to show you this, look at this. Beautiful building, spectacular water room, just check this out. The guy has stopped here for a second, so we get to have a look, which is nice. I must go next time I'm in Bangkok, go and see it properly from a, from the actual temple, not from the river. Oh, the boat got a bit wobbly again. Beautiful. And off we go again. It's nice and lit during the night. Just like we're turning around, going back to the pier. That's Shao Fryer in its beauty. Well, we still got half an hour, so I don't know if that's how long it takes to get to the pier. Might go and see something else, I don't know. But this is one of the highlights of the trip. Water room and the big Buddha. Spectacular buildings. Okay, we're speeding with our boat. Shit. <laughs> I mean, we really are speeding, like... I think he's doing this on purpose. Going fast. I don't think this boat is designed to do such a speed. One day I'm gonna live here. I'm, I promise to myself that I'm gonna move to Thailand at some point in my life. Honestly, since I visit this country last year, I fall in love ever since. Bloody love it. back to square one where we sail off from which is in front of us there but just look at this look at the landscape like honestly I fall in love with Bangkok so much I wish you could experience this as me from this video I don't think it's possible but at least you get a little sneak peek And here we are, that's where we took off from and that's where we coming back to River CB in Bangkok. It's a shopping mall plus a harbor for this long tail boats. On the right hand side you are seeing Icon Siam, the most spectacular shopping mall I ever see in my life. See a video from yesterday to see it better. Just trying to, I don't know, but this guy literally just told us to bug it off. Mm, maybe we are trying to come to the wrong port, I have no idea.
anyway, that's it from the river trip. I hope you liked it. I loved it. And I'll do it again when I'm here again. Uh, we're off to hotels now. Just on my hair. Just quick shower or something. And then we go for a massage. And then we're planning to go to night markets. So I should hopefully be showing you something from there. Also, I'm bloody hungry. So I better it be good. But we tried to board the boat. It was difficult as well. They, they just they don't let us park here because the bigger boats are coming apparently. So I don't know where we're going. Maybe we're going somewhere there. I have no idea. At least we get to see this beauty a little bit more. So we're going to night markets. We chose it. Jolt first night market. G O T D first night market. Apparently it's one of the best. So we're going to see what this is like. I think for a change we're gonna take a scooter taxi one of these crazy scooter taxis I've been using them last year like all the time but now because it's four of us we've been going by taxis but two of us is already there so two of us here we're gonna get two scooters and go to the market why scooter that's fun I'll show you okay yeah you don't need to go to the Hello, so I just got one of these crazy scooter taxis and uh, yeah, guys, have a look what it's like, it's great. The good thing is that they are not scared of traffic at all, so basically we're gonna go like on the pavements or anywhere, like <laughs> there is no rules for the scooters and this is why this is the best way of transportation for Bangkok, because of the traffic is so high that this is just the easiest, the cheapest and the most convenient. Just waiting to get on the main road a little bit so I can show you a little better because here we're going very slowly and I'll tell you what we're gonna do some speed on the on the proper road I assure you this there you go we're joining the right the proper road so here we're gonna have some proper fun stay with me faster your seatbelts
mean, this is how we join the traffic. Look at all these cars stood here. And we're just going to avoid it. Isn't this genius? It is genius. So sorry I'm making you watch all of this but this is just so much fun you would not believe like you have to try it honestly it is amazing you know you get this a bit of a, a bit of an adrenaline kick plus a lot of fun it is brilliant and you know what we're gonna pay you like 30 40 baht for the entire journey so well worth it and it's saving time I think we are just by the market so Literally on the left there, there is an entrance. I think that's where it's going to drop us. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's where we're going. Oof. That was the right. Wow, that was good. Anyway, make sure you do it when during the rush hours is so much better now it was just quiet still fun so just do it when you want to do it if you're a bit scared you might want to do it at this time if you're not scared just do it when it's busy anyway let's check the markets so what's about the markets just got in and we're looking what it is I was actually thinking that is it is food only but it is all sorts of things it's clothes, it's food, it's jewelry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the objective number one is to find the rest. To be honest, this market doesn't even look bad. Like, I didn't expect this. Look, you got all sorts of things. Some ribs, so fish. Nice raw fish next to cooked ribs. That we wouldn't get away with that in Europe. Okay, I think I can, I can see them already. Uh. It turns out that this market is actually huge. I mean, there's so many alleys, and I can't believe that I haven't actually been to it. Let's see. Look at this variety of river prawns. Nice. Look at this baby octopus. Nice. There you go. So, pork ribs, yakitori. It looks like there is loads of it, but like after you see first three, four vendors, like the rest of them, they're the same pretty much. So, it's a massive market of the same food, basically. They sell the same things, pretty much. That's how a yakitori is being prepared, being reheated. So you just order from, from here, and then they just, just walk in on the grill for one second, just to make it a bit hotter. So beef, chicken, that's right. Pork. Ah. Hot. Ah. I mean, the glaze is nice, the spices. That is really hot. Quite chewy. But bloody delicious. Oh, that's good. Really tough, but it's nice. How's your pork? Good, yeah. Mm. 
you got to have this as well. Yeah. That was good. Let's look for some more. That was pretty good. It was there, but let's keep the clothes. Phone covers and stuff like this. Let's go and get some more food. Some crispy pork. I was just surprised. small box? Apparently, we got some super crispy pork here with some spicy soya sauce and these tiny little eggs quill eggs quill eggs yeah let's see what this is like try the egg just an egg <laughs> i thought so well, that crispy pork is good it's crispy very good i like that uh, I see that my hair is my hair is looking funny again. Every time I've only just watched it, and my camera is going crazy. The hell is wrong with it? That pork is fucking great, man. I'm telling you, I'm a big fan of pork, so that made my day much better than the one in Icon Siam. So let's see what else we got. The octopus, some prawns. Scorpions and stuff again. Clothing again. That's the market tomorrow. Go to Chatuka market tomorrow. That's close. Here, let's stick to food. So the whole new aisle of food again. Uh, have we not been here, or does it just look similar? I think it just looks similar. As Matt said, once you've been to one aisle, they will all look pretty much the same. Pad Thai for 550 bars. It's alright. I am actually quite hungry, so I need to eat something properly. So if you want, you can have your spicy shrimp salad here. Raw shrimps in the salad. And this is what it looks like. I haven't tried it to be honest, so not sure. But no, uh, I think not for me. So all these raw shrimps they go on top of the salad. Oh my god, there's loads of them as well. No way. <laughs> Some crispy squid, if anyone likes. It's not really my thing, so. And that's the actual restaurant here. Or oh, you can eat here, whatever you buy. I'm not sure. Some oysters. I didn't like oysters last time I've been here, I remember so. So no. So this is the shop with brownies, with brownies, happy cookies, happy tea. I don't really smoke weed from a long time, but I think I will, I will actually get something. Just to try what it's like, matzo is good, so let's give it a go. Here we go, happy brownie bite. This is the first brownie, wheat brownie I'm going to eat. So let's see. They actually feel quite nice, soft, like a proper brownie. Let's see. Check it out, wheat brownie. I can't taste wheat. No? It doesn't taste the wheat. This is good, I'll, I'll have it with my coffee in the morning. I'm gonna get a few more and then I'll let you know 
whether it works or not. That's just really good actually. If I give it to my mum, she wouldn't know. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're gonna keep strolling a bit more. After a while, I'll let you know if I can feel something or not. Let's see, never tried it. I know how we for ages, so maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, one more. And I put it away. So we just finished with the markets. We're back to Stukovit with a nice taxi driver. It was fun talking to him. He used to work on a cruise ship, so he speaks English. So he told us a lot of things. Anyway, this wheat cakes. It's been now an hour. I don't think I feel anything. But Matt and his girlfriend reckon that they do. I don't know, maybe not enough for me. I mean, not long enough for me. Eh, anyway, so we're now going home. Just need to get through this busy road in Sukhumvit 11. Trying to get to our hotel because the driver wouldn't take us all the way there. If he does take us, he will get stuck there for hours. So I understand we can walk, it's not fast. Uh, tomorrow we're planning to go to Shatuka Market and maybe Terminal 21 shopping mall. I haven't been to the shopping mall yet, but I heard that it's quite cool. So I might wanna give it a go and see what it's like. And that's it really. I haven't got any big plans for tomorrow. So I guess we just follow the flow. Right. Thanks for watching guys and see you later. I'm gonna keep recording for another five minutes or so because this is an interesting street. So if you want, you can stay and watch it. If you don't, I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Продолжение следует...